We're with Baker Mayfield. He is the Maxwell Award winner here at the Maxwell Football Club. And when people say the Maxwell Football Club Award, what does that mean to Baker Mayfield? It's a special, special group. You know, uh, we talked about it last night with some of the guys. It's a, uh, it's a family. So you know, once you're, once you're here, you're a part of the family for life, and they're going to follow you and support you. So that's a, that's a welcoming feeling, and it's obviously a huge honor and blessing to be here. This is probably the last award function that you're going to attend. What are you going to miss about the, the ride that you had being in college, taking home a boat full of uh, hardware? Uh, yeah, this is the last one, I think, if I'm thinking correctly. Uh, no, but it's, it's about the people that you're with, you know, the, the people that I met, the people that I played with, my coaches, teammates, friends, family that have supported me along the way. Uh, they made it really special. You know, it's never about the stats, any win or loss. It's about the relationships that I've built. And uh, to be able to do it with them, along the way has meant a lot to me. Now, personally, I enjoy watching you play. I really do. People say he plays with an edge, and you find it sometimes you're maybe you're just misunderstood flat out that you'll want to win? A little bit. You know, obviously there's things that I can fine tune and polish up, uh, you know, having to be the franchise guy. And so, yeah, there's, there's things I can change, but yeah, a lot of the time, the, I don't understand what's wrong with having a competitive edge and you know, wanting to win. I love the game of football. There's no doubt about that. So for me, um, I'm, you know, I'll make minor things here and there to, to fix it up and, like I said, polish it up. But at the same time, I'll never change the, the passion for the game of football. People talk about the quarterback draft, maybe the best since 83 when Marino came out and all that. Do, do, you, get, do you look back at the history and say, yeah, this, this could be a, a big-time class? It, potential to be but every one of them does you know you have guys who, whether they're gonna pan out or not so it's not up to right now you can't you can't put a label on that comparing our class to, to one that had Dan Marino and yeah I don't know about that but uh, it has the potential to be there's guys here that are very talented but it's about you know making the transition taking your talents and what you did in college and making the next step into, into the pros and so um, it's exciting to have that comparison but at the same time we haven't done anything yet you mentioned that next step. Is there anything you want to do a little different or something you think that now that I get to that level it's, it's got to change somewhere or maybe not? Um, I think you know changes I made towards the later part of my college years you know taking care of my body uh, continuing that making steps with that I mean you see the things that Brady's done uh, how long he's played uh, and so things like that but um, for me a lot of footwork changes you know staying more consistent with it uh, I've been accurate but I think I can be more accurate um, you know, based on my having my base set and, and firm uh, whenever I'm throwing, but uh, th there's certain things that I can improve on always. Are you a big football fan? I am, I am. Okay, well, we're here near Philadelphia. Yeah. The Eagles win the Super Bowl. Still talking about it. So let's role play a little bit. <laughs> I'm with Baker Mayfield, the general manager of the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, you just had a backup quarterback win the Super Bowl. What do you do with him? That's a great question. Um, they definitely don't have a manual for this one. Uh, I don't know, you know, because you got you got two guys between Carson and Nick, and you could tell their relationship on the field. Uh, they're team first guys, and you want that. One of them got you into the playoffs and, and had a great season, and the other one finished it. So I don't know. It's uh, it's a tough decision. So I, th I think you have to let free agency market kind of decide uh, and you know go from there. That said, free agency and draft coming up. Do you have a preference? You know, everybody says the first pick's Cleveland. Does it, does it matter? I just want a chance to play. I mean, all I've ever wanted was a chance to play in the NFL. So wherever that is, I'm going to enjoy it, and I'm going to give that team everything I have. Baker Mayfield, thanks for taking time with us. And congratulations on being the Maxwell Football Club Award winner. Appreciate that. All right. Thank you.